today we are redoing our barrel garden. If you haven't seen these, they're all over the place online. This tube in the middle has a bunch of holes in it. That is for air to be able to get down into the barrel. And then also, if I can get this one-handed open, this can be opened and you throw your green scraps in there and this becomes a composting tower and worms can climb in and out of here, fertilize the inside of the tower. This is just an old barrel that we cut open with a jigsaw. And then in the bottom, we have a bunch of holes drilled so that it can drain. Then we put this little ring on the inside down in the bottom. And then we put over the top of that, this is a lines of bug screen goes on top of that so that the holes don't get clogged up and the bottom of it can drain. We've been running this thing for about three years now. This would be its fourth. So we thought it's time to take the old dirt out. We're going to add in a bunch of compost and some additives to uh, bring the nutrient level back up to nice and high. And then we're gonna plant it out this year with a bunch of chilies. The bottom is lined and we're mixing up over here some, uh, this is horn and hoof pieces on here to bring up the nutrient levels inside. We're also putting in about 40 liters of compost. And then we have over here some new uh, universal dirt, which is going to be uh, has a lot of wood chips and things like that inside of it. So that's gonna be a slow breakdown compost as well. Pretty simple. We have everything mixed. We've turned it over a bunch of times. Now we are refilling the barrel with soil. Here's the barrel all filled out again. That's really good. Now we're going to plant it out all of these chilies. It's gonna be a spicy barrel this year. Barrel's completely planted out now. The north side over here, we decided to put in some little miniature uh, pickle type of things. And everything else is chilly because over here is not going to get a lot of sun and the chilies require a lot of sun. So we decided we'd try something other than just chilies. But that's how it looks on being planted out. Now we water everything in really good. Doing a quick update on the barrel. This is the 22nd of July. The chilies are starting to come big time. We have little flowers showing up everywhere. We also had like a rogue tomato that showed up in here. We have the uh, little pickle guy. He's coming really good. We have, where is that big old monster at? Uh, oh yeah, there he is. Look at that thing. Massive cucumbers coming. We got a, another one up here. The uh, fennel is coming. Fennel, I think it is. We have more chilies coming up everywhere now, but the barrel is rocking this year. Look at that thing. New dirt, watered quite quite heavily when need be, and now it drinks a lot. We also have another rogue tomato that must have just been in a part of the compost and is going, but the food barrel. Thing is awesome. We also have a, a um, zucchini down here that has yet to produce, but it's got its first flower bud and it's not, uh, yeah, it's just competing for light with everybody. But this thing rocks and we're going to have a ton of chili. Today is the last day of September. And this is what the barrel has done. 
we're at the end of the autumn harvest. I'm cutting away some things. The uh, gorka, the cucumbers are finished. Some of the tomatoes here are still ripening, but they're getting very close to being done as well. They're nice and plump. I have a few other, more, other ones over here, which are also looking really good. We have just a ton of red peppers in here all over the place. You can see how much this thing grew. This year is enormous. So big with my hands and it has done really well. I think this is going to be the last video because I would give this maybe about another month before it's going to be completely taken out. But that is what is possible with the barrel. Unfortunately, we thought these were going to be small little red spicy peppers, but they're big ones. It takes up a tiny, tiny amount of room on the ground and you can grow a ton of stuff in the barrel. So they are cool to do and very easy. So I hope that gives you some ideas, something to try, and maybe some inspiration to try and grow something like this yourself. Good luck.